Okay, you guys should see the little red flashy BB dot in the top left corner. So tomorrow, families are gonna get another set of activities sent home. Um, it's gonna be dropped off porch delivery, just how it was last time. If you have any materials you wanna send back to school, please put a very clear label on them. Some of the bus drivers are missing them on their porch if it's just a sack, they don't realize it's to return to school. So put something, oh. please return to Torrance Center, Dash, Miss Connie, Miss Ash, something along the lines of that so we know that those materials are for us and we can bring them back. Um, so those packets are gonna go home tomorrow. In this packet, you guys are going to have activities for all the way through up until December 10th, which is when we're scheduled to come back to school. There is a paper version of everything that coordinates to what we are doing online. So if you are choosing to do activities online, there's certain activities you do not need to do in paper. Mm -hmm. Um, if there's stuff that you choose to do in paper on your own, then you don't need to do the online activity. They're all the same or coordinated because we can't make them the exact same. In this packet, you'll find quite a few art style projects that are going to be happening for the month of December. Um, December is a month based on community service. So there's going to be some action projects in there for you guys. Um, today is the last day of spirit. Hi, Joey. What's up? Um, today's last day of spirit day for November. It's share your favorite color day. So if you're wearing your favorite color or take a picture of something of your favorite color, send it to me, I'll post it on Facebook and it gets us good points with everybody else. December has, oh, that's what we need to send home, Connie. You're muted, but we need to send home the December calendar of thingamajiggies that we do every day for the month of December. So there is going to be an activity or a thematic outfit or something every day in the month of December. So we will make sure it goes home in the packet tomorrow. So you guys know what's coming up now, next, today, tomorrow, yesterday, whatever. Um, trying to think. We're gonna keep lessons at 10 a.m. and at 11.30, but as an update to families, if you would like to join the Christmas holiday celebration record a jiggy thingy, um, there, I don't know what to call it, guys. <laughs> I don't know what the official name is. If you wanna do the Tomoko Music-a-thon for Christmas, where every classroom does or every grade level -y thing sings some songs together, we have two practices, today and tomorrow at 2 p.m., Miss Connie? Two. 2 p.m. Miss Connie and I will email the link and we'll post it on our weekly learning menu. So it's all right there. And then we will have a recording day where we will record our lesson to be featured in the music a thon movie. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, guys. I'm winter so sorry. concert. The Christmas is a concert? Winter concert. Oh, the winter concert. Okay. We'll put it in the winter concert video and we can record it. In the packets that are coming home, you guys will see um. Miss Connie, do you guys have the packet of the what they're going to see? You yep. guys are going to see one of our songs is the 12 Days of Christmas. So in order for your student to help participate, if they're not singers or shaker music, I don't have shakers at home, guys. I'm really tired. I'm sorry. You guys are going to see a packet that looks like the one Miss Connie is holding up right now. This packet has pictures to go with each of the 12 Days of Christmas. So when it's like, 12 drummers drumming you can hold up the picture of the 12 drummers drumming so those are all coming home in the packet tomorrow for you guys if you would like to participate in the winter concert so practice today and tomorrow and then there'll be a recording sometime later this week but we don't know our recording time so we will keep you posted as we know so if you guys would like to participate two o'clock connie and i will send out the link and it'll be on the learning menu Connie, can you can you record that as well? Because I know I have groups then. I won't be able to get her on oh. it too. Um, Bobo has already recorded the songs and posted them so that students who can't make it can practice the music at home whenever it's convenient. Okay. Yep. And then the recording, like we're they're actually going to record our groups singing and doing our cards if you do cards or if you have instruments to play they are going to do an actual final recording and that will be sometime later this week I don't know if we're Wednesday Thursday or Friday yet we haven't heard, we haven't heard. Um, and then we will record it and then Tomoko is going to clip all of these together including a potentially horrifying staff song because you guys know if you've been in my room we can't sing in my room 
to the point that the kids shush us. So, you know, there could be some comedic relief in this performance. Um, so Mr. Moko is going to clip all of those recordings together and do one final big Christmas concert recording. And it'll be posted, I know, on the school Facebook page. And then if we get the recording, we'll post it on our learning menu somewhere for families to see the concert performance um, if you choose to participate. Or if you just want to watch other people participate, that's cool too. So I think, did I get it all, Ms. Connie? I think you did. Did I, anybody have questions? because I know I just rambled for a very long period of time. <laughs> it's going to be posted on the Facebook page. So the school has a Facebook page and they will post the final Christmas recording of everything smashed together. So each grade level is performing like two songs. So like ECDD is performing two songs all together. So whatever their recording is will be linked with our recording in like one big concert video once okay. they're finished. and those will actually be recorded wednesday thursday or friday of this week we just don't know what our day is yet um but today and tomorrow are practice days only okay at 2 p.m so we'll email those links out as soon as we get them and we'll put them on our learning menu our chart thing um staff if you would like to come to the practices today, please feel free. Um, it might be worth it because I'm not really sure what's expected of us currently. The, the performance is being um, coordinated by Tomoko and Amy. So we are here to support, but we are not coordinating. So I apologize if we're a little confused on the details. We're, you know, coordinating via internet is not as effective as coordinating face-to-face. -face. So I'm sorry if we're a little sketchy on details. We as soon as we, more, we will share them as soon as we know. Thank okay. you. And I know our two songs, if parents want to practice at home, are 12 mm -hmm. days of Christmas and is it still Walking in a Winter Wonderland? Uh, yes. Walking in a Winter Wonderland. So those are the two songs that the transition students will practice today and tomorrow and then perform later this week at 2 p.m. Okay, anybody else questions? Did I... No? Okay. Well, with that happy news, Miss Connie is up for a lesson on kindness. So we have been talking all of the month of <laughs> October about feelings. And then in November, we talked about how to handle our feelings. In the month of December, we're going to talk about kindness and acts of kindness. So to begin, we have pictures here on our, oh, wait a minute, Miss Ashley, I don't think I'm sharing my screen. You are not sharing your screen. No. So can you fix it so I can? You already have the permission. All right. Sorry, folks. There. Much better. Well, maybe. I'm going to get this out of the way and I'll make my screen bigger. There. All right. So, there. We have some cards that someone uh, uh, made. We have someone delivering groceries. We have someone <clears throat> opening the door from the inside for this woman. We have a young boy here. Um, <clears throat> Giving some food to a dog, and we have some people here participating uh, in a um, food line for mm -hmm. their, um, giving away oh, meals. Yeah. These are all acts of kindness, but when we use that mm -hmm. word, what does it mean? Well, kindness means mm -hmm. that you are concerned uh, about other people. Uh, kind uh, people think about mm -hmm. another person's feelings. Uh, and they help someone who is in need. Kind people are kind even when others are not. And kind people never expect anything in return. So when we do these acts, we do them from our heart. And we're not looking for anyone to say, yay, good job, or thank you. We're doing them because we want to help other people feel good. So being kind means to do or say something nice to someone 
At school, I might come to a friend who is crying or it's got upset. I can make cards for a friend or I can make cards to give to a nursing home or like last year, how we made cards and sent them to the soldiers overseas to let them know that we're thinking of them. At home, I might play with my brother or sister. I might play a game or maybe um, I know that my brother's favorite show is about cars and I don't like, like cars, but to be kind to my brother, I might say, let's watch your oh. show tonight. Being kind to someone can help them feel good. Oh. But not only do you make the other person feel good, but mm. being kind can also help oh. you oh. feel good. Mm. Oh. So huh. I am showing kindness when A, I call huh. someone a name, huh. or B, huh. when I say huh. hello to someone. So you can either use huh. your ABC huh. cards, you can sign A or B. I don't remember how B goes, thank you. Huh. So I'll give everyone a minute to think. When I'm showing huh. kindness, do I do it by calling someone her name, A, or B, when I say hello mm. to someone? Mm. I'm going to scroll down so I can see my friends here. Mm. Mm. Oh, that didn't work. All right, I see a lot of Bs, and you are mm. right. When you say hello to someone or wait, mm. you are showing mm. kindness. I am showing kindness when A, I don't share my umbrella if it's raining, or B, I share my umbrella with someone and if it's raining. Oh, I see a lot of bees again. Yes, you are right. Sharing my umbrella with my friend when it's raining is an act of kindness. Showing kindness can make me feel. Does it make me feel A, angry, B, happy, or C, sad? Showing kindness, how does it make me feel? I'm giving my friends a minute to answer here. Mm. Yes, everyone mm. agreed. It is B. It can mm. make me feel happy. Mm. So I have, I hope this works, mm. a song about being kind that I would like to share with you. Everyone should show kindness, caring for others, and being nice. Here are some things you can do. Well, you can keep your hands to yourself, or you can help your friend carry their books. You can stand really nicely in the lunch line, or tell the lunch ladies how nice their hair looks. Well, you can share your toy with the fan, or you can give clothes to someone in need. You can pick up something that's falling, or you can help someone who's struggling to read you got to go the extra mile to make somebody smile be kind you got to lend a hand with joy to every girl and boy be kind well you can thank your parents for dinner or you can clean your room you can play with someone lonely or you can tell your teacher that they're cool or you can be polite to someone who's different or you can give a hug to someone who's down you can help someone with their book bag or you can shut you around you got to go the extra mile to make somebody smile be kind 
Lend a hand with joy to every girl and boy. Be kind. Well, you can smile at someone who's sad. Or you can compliment someone You can hold the door open for your classmates. Or you can give up. Take stuff to the office for the teacher, or you can wait patiently in. You can help your friend open their mail. You can be kind all the time. You got to go the extra mile to make somebody smile. Be kind. You got to lend a hand with joy to every girl and boy. Be kind. Go ahead. Do a good deed today. Be kind to someone. What is three? Mm -hmm. All right. So throughout the month of December, we are going to do different projects that show kindness to other people. So before those projects, while you're at home, if you do something that's kind for someone else, if your parent takes a picture, they can share them with Miss Ashley or myself, and we'll add them to our classroom Facebook. And um, look forward to doing some projects to show kindness to others throughout the month of December. So to wrap things up for today, we have a 10.30 Zoom news with Ms. Um, Amy and Mr. Clark. And then immediately following that on the same link you just hit on is going to be movement with um, Ms. Tomoko and Ms. Angie. And then at 11.30 today, we are going to do a STEM project with Miss Ashley to help you do something for you to help you count how many days between now and Christmas. And then at two o'clock is going to be our music practice. And we'll make sure you have that link. Ms. Ashley, is there anything that I have forgot to remind my friends? Um, just for the 1130, you guys need the bags, the Ziploc bags that look like this that came home last week. I think there's a glue stick in all of them, um, but if not, you're going to need a glue stick. And if you haven't already cut out the pieces, the numbers, you're going to need a pair of scissors. So just make sure you have this for our 1130 session, because I know we didn't send it home on the direction sheet. This came later, so you need, just need this Ziploc bag. And Miss Ashley, if they didn't get one, we sent a glue stick home with a packet that we sent before that. Thank you. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you this afternoon. What? And what, what's happening today at 11? So at, did I misspeak? At 10 is a Zoom news followed by movement with Miss Angie and Tomoko. And then at 11.30 is going to be the Santa Project oh. with Ms. Ashley. And the music yep. and movement thing is the same length. Oh. So if you join Tiger Zoom News, you do not need to go anywhere oh. else. It's just a little add-on to add some physical fitness and some music to what families have available and for them at home because a lot of our students were expressing that they were missing Angie and Tomoko. So they're just adding this in. I think it's two days, Monday and Wednesday. Yeah, Monday and Wednesday will be music and movement. And then Tuesday and Thursdays following Tiger Zoom News is going to be a story time online. So it'll be very, very, very similar to our Wednesday 10 a.m. session. It's going to be a whole school story time at um, just after Zoom News. And they're all on the same link, so nobody has to go to an additional place. Okay. Will Molly need help with the 1130 craft thing? Because I won't be able to help her, but I'll have it cut out. So she probably will need help. But if she just wants to stay and hang out with us, that's okay. And you guys can do the project later. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Anyone else have any questions? 
All right. Well, Julia, I'm glad to see you and AJ. I'm trying to see what other friends are with us today. Molly. Joey and Molly. And Joey. Yes. So hope to see you again this morning and we'll see you all soon. <laughs> Bye.